Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another fun video. So one of my goals for this year was to be better with my money, to decrease my debt as much as possible, to start investing, to start saving, and to just be a lot more organized with my budget, become even more like, I've become very obsessed with learning about finances and all of that which I know is something that it, a lot of people in medicine struggle with. So today we are going to be going over how to set a budget. If you watched my previous video on the topic of finances, you'll, I'll put it right here. I gave you seven tips on how to improve your savings, important things that you should do in that aspect. So today we are going to be talking about setting a budget and how to go about creating a budget. I have divided this into four easy steps and I'm going to be using an Excel document that I got from another channel. It's called The Comma Path. She is amazing. She is a programmer and she is very good about finances. She shares a lot of content about this as well. So I'll leave her channel up here in the description box down below and in the cards up here. Number one is to set your goals. When you are creating a budget, you have to know why you're doing it. Are you trying to increase your income? Do you want to increase your savings? Do you want to pay off debt? Do you want to save for retirement? Do you want to start investing? Or do you just want to save for having, buying something, going on a vacation, or just because you want to have money to have fun? Whatever your goals are, you need to figure out those goals in order to have a direction and have a purpose to your budgeting. Number two is to tackle the numbers. So this is basically the part where we are going to be diving into the spreadsheet and going over the numbers. So you're gonna figure out all of your income and all of your expenses. You can do this by hand, you could do it in a list, you can write down all of the things that you want, that you have expenses for every month. So your rent, your utilities, your groceries, your gas, your car payment, your student loans, all of those things go in your expenses. And then your income is all the money that's coming in, whether you have a job with a salary, whether you have side hustles or anything like that, that does make you money. All of those things have to be accounted for and you have to have all of those numbers in order to be able to create your spreadsheet. So we are going to go here into the computer and I'm gonna create a screen recording. This is the channel for the come up and has a whole bunch of videos and this is the video where I got the spreadsheet from. So it's called how to budget monthly for beginners and it's really good. It's very nice and simple and she breaks it down very nicely. So I'm not gonna go over the same things over here. So next we are going to go into the Excel sheet. So this is my actual monthly monthly budget and this is what I get from my salary as a resident after taxes. I also have deducted $300 here that we should we are not accounting for in this balance. So it goes uh, directly from my bank account into my Roth IRA. So all of my income goes here. So I have my salary and then if you have a side job or anything like that, those go here. So I do have some side incomes. They are not at all steady and they are related to my blog, to my YouTube channel and all of those things. So whenever I do get income from that, I can put it here and then calculate that into my monthly budget. So here, we start going into your expenses. So you could do this in Excel, you could do it in numbers. You could use softwares like Mint or Personal Capital, which are free uh, platforms where you can follow your, you know, track your spending, check, do a budget, and all of those things calculate your credit how to improve your finances and all of those and all of those things I already mentioned in my previous video and then most recently I dove into YNAB or you need a budget and this is a platform that allows you to create a budget it is pretty pretty good so far they do have a free trial for 34 days I'm gonna leave their link down in the description box down below it is a paid service so it is $84 a year for the service but I think it's totally worth it because of how detailed it is it allows you to break everything into categories kind of like we have here you can also set goals you can also link all of your accounts to make sure that you can track all of your spending and see if there's any areas in which you can make improvements so then you calculate we go into savings and she uses the 50 20 30 method and as you can see in my chart I do not I'm not going by that because my fixed expenses are almost 80% of my income I definitely 
definitely have some room for improvement here, but it is what it is. I, I'm very lucky that I am married and me and my husband split everything. We're gonna go into savings and I have about 15% of my income right now going into savings. So I have 300% that's going into my Roth IRA and then I have $200 that are going into my emergency fund and I have $300 that are going into my savings account. And I also want to start saving towards a house. So in the near future, we're going to start, I'm going to start doing that. So I'm going to allocate a little bit of my income into that savings goal. Then we go into your fixed expenses. And these are the expenses that are mandatory that you can't skip out every month. So this includes anything like your utilities, your rent, your cell phone bill, your internet, all of those things go here. So this is an average of our rent. And then I spend about 20 to $30 with the current price of gas on gas for my car, student loans, uh, payment just increased. So I'm, this is about kind of what I'll be paying. I pay about $500 in credit cards every month. I have $13 a month that go into Canva and then I'm paying $150 every month towards my PayPal credit balance. Clearly here I can just reduce my credit card which is my spending but I use all of my flexible spending. I put it on my credit card so it's kind of like it, these two should technically be combined because the reason this balance is this high is because I use it to pay for everything. So and I'm finally at the point where I can pay it off every month. So that is the best way that you can use your credit cards so that you make sure that you have the balance to pay it off every single month. So then we go into flexible expenses and this is if you have to do like laundry, groceries, you pay for a gym, anything else that's discretionary spending goes into these expenses. And this one is one that I made, but this is not a super detail because like I said, I'm now using You Need a Budget to do my budget. Um, so this one is just kind of like a draft of what I was thinking of doing before I got that. So then I have about $100 for fun, $100 for self-care, and then short-term savings goal, I'm putting the rest here because their philosophy is that you need to give every dollar a purpose. You should not have anything left over so that you don't go out and spend that money frivolously. So let's say that I want to save for a new handbag. Well, if everything, if this happens the same way every month, I'll be allocating $42 every month towards that new handbag. And that's kind of how it would work. I'm going to be making specific videos for you need a budget, like after I use the platform for a month, if we're gonna keep paying it and how it works for us. So I'm gonna be doing a detailed review and a tutorial on how to use it. But yeah, that's pretty much how you create your budget on a spreadsheet. So like I said, you can use any software that you want. You can do it yourself on uh, Numbers or Excel. You can use any of the free platforms that I mentioned, or you could go ahead and dive into You Need a Budget and give it a try. So those are the first three steps, and those are the most crucial steps because it is your overview of how things are or what your goals are, and you have everything in line to basically succeed. So step number four is to track your spending, and this is when you go over what you actually actually spend and see if that is aligning with your budget so that you can go back and make arrangements and modifications in the next month in order to reach your goals. So if you're looking towards savings and you know that you're spending more and you're having to adjust your budget and decrease the amount that you're putting into savings to stay on track, then you know that you have to look at your spending habits and see in which areas you can cut back so that you can give yourself a better chance at saving more money. If you're seeing that you're wanting to try and pay off your debt and you want to try and allocate as much money as possible to paying off that debt, but you are coming, you can only make your minimum payments or things like that, then you know that you need to make modifications in your life, whether it is reducing spending in your flexible expenses, so the things that you can actually control, like if you need to cut back on your gym membership, on how many groceries or where you're doing your groceries and, and things like that, you can do those arrangements so that you can stay on track with your budget and reach your goals. So if you divide it into these four easy steps, then you have 
kind of a better idea of how things are going, how things are looking for you, and things like that. So this was a very simple video. The point of this video was to literally guide you step by step on how I go about doing my budget and I can do the same thing in whichever software that I use. I previously was using a template from Numbers to track my budget and it was working pretty well but I wanted something I wanted something more, which is why we decided to dive into YNAB and give it, a, give it a good chance. So I will definitely be letting you guys know how YNAB works. They do have an affiliate program, so I'll be leaving my affiliate link down below if you do want to give it a try. Like I mentioned, it is $84 a year, so this is something that is relatively affordable. And from the reviews that I've seen, most people think it's absolutely worth the money because of how detailed it is and how it helps you to you know, visualize your spending in a different way and prioritize your goals. So I am hoping that this works out for me and I'll let you guys know. So let me know in the comments down below how you guys prefer to do your budgets, if there's anything else that you think I should include in this video or in a future video, what your favorite way to do your budget is. Do you do it monthly? Do you do it weekly? Do you do it in a software? Do you do it by hand? There are so many ways. I love how Aja Dang does her budget she used to do them in like very nice and colorful papers i'm not that artistic so that i will not be doing that but i hope this video was helpful for you guys i want to do more finance inspired videos because like i've mentioned in previous videos healthcare professionals are we are not uh, known for our financial savviness so I think it's very important that we take matters into our own hands and prioritize our education in terms of not only medicine, but also life lessons. And I think learning to manage your finances is a very important thing. And the step number one, like I mentioned in my previous video, is to create a budget. So create a budget and that is, you're on the first step that you need to, to be on a road to success with your money. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, social media in general to stay up to date with what I am doing on my day to day. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching this video, you guys. I love each and every one of you. We are getting so, so close to 100 followers. So hopefully a giveaway coming soon and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.